My name is Josh Miller. I own and operate Riverstone Kennels in New Richmond, Wisconsin. Uh, speak a lot on behalf of Sport Dog. And one of the things I speak a lot about is how to introduce or how to properly introduce your dog to an e-collar. Uh, it's a topic that I'm extremely passionate about because we see so many dogs that come in for training that were introduced to the collar improperly. We don't want, to want this to be a punishment. We don't want this to be a, I have to behave with it on, but once it comes off, I can misbehave. Uh, we want these dogs to think of these collars as an invisible leash. All of our e-collar work is going to start long before we ever even put the collar on the dog. It's very important that we teach what the dog or what it is that we're trying to teach the dog with a lead and then transition to, an, to the e-collar. Really, the way that we like to look at it is that the, the e-collar is a reinforcement tool, not a teaching tool. So we actually have to take a step back to the leash and teach everything with the leash, properly teach the sit, properly teach the recall, and then transition to reinforcing what the dog now knows with the e-collar. I like to use the example of, of a way that these are, are introduced improperly because we see it quite often. You get this home, this is more or less looked at as a magic wand in a box that's gonna cure all my problems. Let the dog out in the yard, the dog's you know, moseying around, you say, Duke, come. He doesn't do it, so you crank it up to a level four or five. Duke, never feeling this before, jumps and runs back to you because he's going, I have no idea what just happened, but I know that you're my safe spot. And you go, wow, I told him to come and I pressed this button and it worked. Of course, that's not exactly what happened there, right? You actually had almost the opposite of what you're looking for. When you look at the dog's life in general, God willing, you're gonna get 15 years out of, out of your dog and hopefully you know, all happy and healthy years introducing a, a product like this properly at the beginning of this dog's life is going to make it where your dog gets to go more places gets to do more things and really overall enjoy that life going forward but we have to have that that introduction done properly if you have any reservations at all you know seek out a professional like myself i love doing this for people i love getting young dogs started on the right track uh, there's a lot of great information out there. Sport Dog actually includes a DVD that comes with uh, each collar. That way you can go through, you can learn how to do it before you apply it. My biggest piece of advice when you're going through this is take your time. I've never seen a dog ruined by going too slow, but I've seen a lot of them ruined by going too fast. Take your time, really make sure that your dog has step A down before you move to step B and so on. Take your time, make sure that this is done right so that your dog can have a confident and successful uh, period with this going forward.